Hello everybody and how are you all doing today? It is Rusty Champagne here with you and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We're here once again in the wonderful world of my recycling center. I wanted to kind of dive into this one a little bit more. Uh, if you didn't catch the first look of the game, I'll have a link to it in the descriptions. So that way you can kind of see things from the very beginning. But uh, in this game, we're basically... Uh, we own our own little recycling center that starts at the beginning of the game with uh, four, well, with three bins and one compactor. So we have a bin where we can put recyclables, a bin where we can put residential waste, a bin where we can put bulk trash, and then a compactor where we can put timber and other wood-like items. And then in our last game, we also bought another compactor that can handle some waste paper. So in this game, I'm hoping to be able to get us up to... 100 satisfaction because once we get to 100 satisfaction then we can open up a new uh a new thing we'll, we can get a new type of um, material and i'm going to probably go for glass because i know that with glass we can get a uh, another piece of machinery that handles just glass and we might also try and make some other improvements to the recycling center as well might try and get some like maybe some signs maybe do some coloring of our of our dumpsters so we'll see how it goes. How are you doing here, sir? We're going to get you all taken care of. And I'm going to try throwing some of this stuff in here. And oh, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to how far you got to throw things. And let's see. That's a table that can go straight in here. And then this is a bag. This is going to go right in bulk trash. We're going to throw that. Oh, no. Uh huh. I wonder why you couldn't th take the bag. Fuel can for sure we cannot do. So we're just going to set that right there. Um, this is garbage bag, so we're going to have to collect money from him for his garbage. I will be interested to see why that um, why that uh, other bag didn't work. Uh, because I really would have thought that that would have been bulk trash. Cardboard box, this is going to probably be... Oh, waste paper. Okay, so that's just going to go waste paper. So it's good to know, because I had not seen a cardboard box before. Here's another one, which will also be waste paper. So yeah, if you didn't see the first video, you can always get a hint on what the thing is and where you should put it by pressing the E key, and that will tell you where the item should go. Fuel cans we cannot take. They are considered dangerous, so that will have to go back with you, sir. I am terribly sorry, uh, but I'm glad that you brought all your other stuff. Charge you some fees and check you out. So, oh, the bag goes in residential waste, okay. So that's what it was. I did not realize that. Uh, it looked like it was more like a, a suitcase kind of bag. But, oh, and because it was residential waste. Oh, that was just regular residential waste. Oh, okay. So that wasn't waste paper either. I just completely missed what that bag was. So that was on me, my goof. And we did lose a little bit there for that, but no big deal. All right, so we're going to open this up. And... The people just keep on coming in this game, one after the other, all with their things. And you've got a bunch of chairs, also known as stools. So we're take this. Oh, I overthrew it. Let's get that in here. I'm also going to turn this on just to get that rolling because things will pile up in there pretty quickly if we do not do it. I might also get myself like a wheelbarrow or something to, or a cart to make it easier to just carry things all at once. So this is a garbage bag. It's going to go in here, so we're going to get some extra money. Um, assuming I can throw it, which I <laughs> apparently could not. There's another garbage bag. There we go. And one more garbage bag. And now you're all set. We'll collect some fees from you as well. $18 in fees. We'll get you taken care of. Thank you very much for stopping. Have a wonderful day. All right, so let's see. We can go in here, and I think we can scroll down, and I think we can get a push cart. So a large cart for loads of garbage bags, boxes, or bottles. So that might be nice to have. Um, so, yeah, it's $500, but it's a it's a good investment. So we'll, we'll do that. So we'll go ahead and buy a metal push cart, and that way we can have that with us. It'll be interesting to see exactly how this works. So I guess we can just hit F to use the cart. So we'll see once we have someone that has an order that has a bunch of those things in there, then I guess we can probably use the cart and see how this will work out. So, perfect. We're going to try out a brand new cart, so we're going to back up. Alright, so this becomes like a driving simulator, and now I guess we can leave the cart. There we go. And just going to take the garbage bags, throw them in the cart, and then we can take them all over to the um, all over to the 
the waste at once. So we're going to charge you fees. And do... Now, can we... Oh, we didn't throw it away. Okay, so you do still have to throw everything away first. So that's good to know. Um, all right, so this... I guess it's easier to just go forward with this thing. So we're going to get out of here. All right, so the things we learned in our first shot. So, all right, that all goes in here. But we at least got the $18 in fees, so there was that. Uh, but yeah, if you put things in the cart, you do still have to throw them away before you check the customer out and have them be on their way. So I'm right, going to move this out right over here, leave that in that general direction. And now we will take care of this person and we will see what they have. So yeah, just hoping to get to 100 satisfaction and then we might be able to start saving up for a new piece of equipment. Um, cardboard box, uh, we've only got one of them in here, so I'm just going to run that over. And then we've got a room divider, so we'll take that. We could probably give that a little bit of a throw. There we go. And an armchair. That's got some wood on it, so that should be good. Oh, that's a little too heavy. Can't throw that that far, apparently. And we'll get the compactor going. There we go. Is that everything for you? It is. And I think we can just check you out. There you go. You're all set. So then the question becomes, if we get glass next... How much is it going to cost us to get the... Oh, only $300 for the glass waste container. That's perfect. So that'll be the next thing that we'll do. We'll get the glass waste container once we have the 100 satisfaction. And then we will also, for sure, have enough money to also to take care of everything. And then our recycling center will be able to handle glass. And that'll be a new thing that we can do. And slowly but surely, it'll turn into a bigger and better place. Hello, person. What do you have for us today? You've got a few bags, so we'll grab our cart here, back it up, and get it closer to here. I don't know how much faster this truly is, but it feels like it might be a little bit faster. I just don't know. At least this way we can run everything all at once. So there's that, I guess, uh, assuming that I can get it in here with any kind of relative ease. So here's all the paper bags. And I'm assuming that as you get into bigger and bigger loads, this might become better. And maybe I just bought it too early. <laughs> that could be the thing. So, yeah, maybe as you get uh, further in the game, you'll have po possibly bigger and bigger orders. Because, yeah, this does not feel any big any faster than having taken the items one at a time. Um, now i got to actually reach around and get them. So, yeah. I don't think I sell saved myself any time with this. But, hey, we got a nice blue cart, and it only cost us $500. So, so there's that. Um, down, down the road might be useful. All right, satisfaction. We're up to 65, so we're going to have to take care of another 35 items. So we're just going to take this cart, kind of set it on the side. It's good to know exactly how useful this may or may not be. And at this point in time, it's not, not huge. Um, but again, I'm assuming that somewhere down the road, it may end up having its benefits. So we shall see. Got all the residential people here today, all showing up in their little station wagons and hybrids and uh, crossover vehicles. So, a bunch of little stuff, but that works because it all counts. Uh, you've got a couple of plastic buckets. These go right into bulk trash because nobody, recy nobody recycles plastic, at least not yet. Maybe down the road we will, but right now it's all just, um, it's all just goes into bulk trash. And I wonder if those things broke when I chucked them in there. It felt like something smashed. Uh, yeah, those kind of broke when I threw them. So those were apparently very brittle <laughs> plastic containers. Um, they must have been sitting out for a very long time in very cold temperatures. And then as soon as you smash the two of them together, they broke into a thousand pieces. All right, so we got 67 satisfaction, $198. And it's looking a little quiet now. Take a little look around here. And there goes the quiet, so now we're going to come here. We've got somebody in one of their transit vans. Let's see what they've got for us. Uh, hopefully we got some bigger things, and that will give us a little more money. And, yeah, here we go. we got a chair. can throw that in there. And I didn't throw it over, so that's good. I'm getting better at throwing just a little bit. Uh, there we go. And how about you? A crib. That's probably wood, so we can take that, throw that in there. Oh, did that go over? It did. I got a little overzealous. All right, I'm going to turn on the compactor, get that rolling, and that's all you had. Okay, perfect. All right, 70 satisfaction. We got 30 to go. And we're certainly going to have enough money for 
our uh, glass uh, glass receptacle, whatever they call that. What is the glass receptacle called? The glass waste container. Yeah, that thing. Um, and we might also get maybe some new signs. Because I think that if we go into management, we can go to these and we can put new signs up and we can give them custom colors and we can make them all fancy because it's important to be fancy when you have your own recycling center. You don't want to be like every other recycling center. you got to make yourself stand out. Otherwise, no one's going to show up. So, I mean, right now, we might just be the only recycling center in town. But if someone else comes around and opens up the recycling center, then we got to give them a reason to come to ours instead. So, yeah, we'll see if we can see if we can spruce some things up as we go about things. It's all about how do we spend our money, basically. All right, cardboard box. It's going to go here into waste paper. Yeah, I can just run, and that's going to be faster. Here's a cupboard. That's going to be in the timber. There we go. And you are a medical device. I know from last time that you go right into bulk trash. There you go. Head over heels. Um, that is a cupboard, and it's not coming out of there. Uh, let's try that again. There we go. And we'll give you a throw. The compactor is still compacting. This is a table, so I'm going to probably have to start setting these now. And i got to pay attention for the dings, for sure. Um, that's a couch, so we can probably set this in here. Oh, I threw out the table. All right. Uh, table back in. That already counted. So, all right, let's get the compactor going again. Yeah, the compactor always takes the longest to do. Um, especially when we have these big things in here. So let's see. If we throw the couch... Oh, no. I threw that on top. Please tell me I can grab that. Uh, there we go. It's st it still has not counted. I'm still waiting for the ding, so that's going to take a bit. We'll wait and see if that dings at some point. But meanwhile, I'll keep getting these other things. With my giant stretch arm, strong arms, it can reach all the way into the back of the truck. Um, and then we got this one table. So I still have not heard the ding for the couch. So let's see. Can we smash some stuff down? Well, the couch fell out. And I've not heard the ding for the table. So let's see. Can we move the table back there? Um, still waiting for that to ding. Because it still has... There we go. So it recognized that. And I'm going to grab the couch and put the couch in and see if we can get that. There we go. Now we can have this person go on their way. Because they have now been successfully assorted. And everything is now in the compactor. And we'll just set that one. I'll try to set that one on top. This is going to be a little bit of a Jenga game here. All right. Will you go there? There you go. Yeah. It's amazing how this compactor just magically smashes all that stuff like that. So it does one heck of a job. <laughs> in terms of taking care of things, but when you have someone who brings in a whole load of wooden items, it, it becomes a little bit of a challenge. So we'll wait and see whether or not we need to start this back up again or if it will start up on its own. There we go. We've got some things falling in. That's good. Yeah, we'll start it right back up because I'm sure that this person might have some wooden things of their own. We will see what they have. 79 satisfaction. Just need another 21. And plastic barrel. You should be able to go in here. I don't think you're dangerous. There you go. I love how quickly those things get thrown in there. Plastic box. You're also going to go in there. Um, it took a little bit for it to ding. That's a cardboard box over here to waste paper. And then we're going to keep on doing this. We got a garbage bag, so we're going to get some money for taking care of residential waste. We got a recycling bag, so that'll go over there. Well, that... Oh, just had enough of... Mu just enough mustard on that one. <clears throat> Another garbage... Whoa! Garbage bag goes here. That's going to get fired in there. Um, we got a table, so that's going to go into our never-ending compactor. I'm going to have to move that couch because it's apparently not really sitting in a good spot. There we go. Now it's in there. Um, and we've got a another plastic container. Okay. Perfect. Um, what happened there? Where did it go? I don't see where it went. It's not in here. Um, how did you end up behind me? <laughs> I, I don't know. And, uh, all right, we're just going to set you in there. I'm not sure what's going on with you, but, uh, we will own another cardboard box. That was very interesting. Okay. Apparently trying to throw some things may not be the best thing. All right. Charge your fees. And get you all taken care of. So, yeah. Oh! 
That actually goes in recyclables? Huh. That's very interesting, because everything else so far that we've done that's plastic has not been. So maybe they do like hard plastic and soft plastic. Okay, that's interesting to know. I just assumed that nothing plastic got recycled here. Um, if we look up here, it probably should not fall into the compactor. <laughs> probably a bad idea. So, all right. We're going to run in here. Need 12 more satisfaction. Then we can start handling some glass. We'll get ourselves a glass uh, receptacle. And this guy has all the cardboard boxes. But, again, it's just going to be quicker to run them over one at a time because uh, I think it's going to be – I don't know what the break-even is on how many need, how many – boxes you need in order for the cart to become faster but right now it feels like uh as quickly as we can run it's just quicker to run these things but i have a nice fancy shiny 500 hundred dollar cart so there's that <laughs> it's the nicest looking thing in our recycling center is our 500 hundred dollar cart there we go we got all that squared away you are done 94 satisfaction just one or two more cars hopefully and that should have us all taken care of. And then, yeah, we do have enough money. We got $855. So we might even give it a fancy sign when we get it. So that way we can see a new sign for these things. Because I have seen some other streams and seen people with, like, all their, their nice colors. And I really should get some nice colors on these things. And uh, they've got nice signs and they've got some steps. They've really decked their recycling centers out. Mine just looks like it's, like, ordinary average Joe or in this case, ordinary average rusty champagne. So we got to make it look better than that. I mean, we don't want to just be ordinary and average. We want to be snazzy. That's what we go for here. Okay, so there's another garbage bag, and we got four garbage bags. That's good because that's going to be $24 in fees for all your garbage. We do like our fees. We're all about our fees here. Uh, so we'll charge you our fees and get you on your way. And there we go, 98 satisfaction we just need two more so hopefully our next person will have two items in their vehicle and that will get us to 100 so we'll see who the next person is that arrives <clears throat> at our recycling center and at some point we can get the gate as well i'm not that interested in getting the gate because i don't know how close how far away from the gate you can actually stand in order to open it and again, with as quickly as you run, it's not like it's that big of a deal to just run up to the gate. And it's not like there's anywhere else that we got to be on our property other than right by the gate. So it's it's not that big of a thing. All right, table in there. Don't throw it over. I did. I got a little too heavy on the throw. And then what else do you have in here? So that's a plastic box, which is not a plastic container. So you go right in there. And another table. I don't know why people always throw away their tables. I mean, they look like nice tables. What did you do with these tables that you're throwing them away? Okay, there we go. 101 satisfaction. Going to run right in here. Open up our shop. Press F a few times. Go to management. We're going to get glass. There we go. We now have glass. We're going to go to the shop. We're going to go to the glass waste container. We're going to get that. Confirm it. We're going to put it into its own slot right here. And we're going to call that slot 9. And then we're going to there. Oh, maybe I have to assign. Oh, there we go. And it's going to be glass. Oh, we cannot put a fancy sign on it. So in this case, we all we can really do is change the color of it. So there we go. So now we got a glass waste container. And so now the next things we can do possibly are scrap metal, household appliances, and electric devices. So those are things that we could possibly look forward to down the line. But for now, let's we'll have a chance here. We can take a look at our little glass container that we have over there once we have some people. So let's take a quick look. Oh, that looks kind of nice. So I guess we just have to get things close. And it says glass right on there. That's nice of them to have put that there for us. Makes life a little bit easier. Uh, fuel can. Nope, we don't want you. So sorry. Sorry you brought that. Uh, I don't know why you thought that we'd take a fuel can, but we don't want our recycling center blowing up. Uh, that's generally not the look that we're going for uh, here on the street. So <laughs> that will have to go back with you. Um, that is a cardboard box that's going to go there. And then we've learned that plastic bottles are recyclable. But I don't know where they get thrown. So I don't know where you went. Apparently, you cannot throw these. And at this point, I do not know where you vanished to, so I think I'm just going to have to take the hit and stop throwing those 
because I don't know where they go when you throw them. So we're just going to... Oh! And it now it made it seem like you never had it. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. That that works, I guess. Uh, hmm. Who would have known? All right, let's get a couple of fancier signs. So let's take our bulk waste and our residential and our bulk trash, and let's give them some fancier signs here. So let's go with that. Um, so we're going to go to management. Okay, we're going to wait for this person. Uh, sir, can't you see that I'm trying to give us uh, fancier signs for our, our receptacles here? I mean, it's important. We Again, we want to look a little deluxe. We don't want to look basic. We want to look deluxe here. So what do you got? A uh, bunch of cardboard boxes. All right, let's run real fast and get these thrown in here one at a time. You got six of them because apparently everyone has cardboard boxes in sixes. That was a late ding, so maybe that thing's getting full on the bottom. Yeah, that must be getting full on the bottom, so I'm going to have to... Uh, uh, where's the button? Is it here? Where? Oh, is that's a start. There we go. Oh, yeah, that is full. So one of them did not ding, so we have to wait and hear one additional ding. So I'll we'll kind of listen for that. Yeah, and that one also has not ding. There we go. There's one ding. There's another one. All right, so now they've both counted. Um, yeah, we could probably get some steps to see in there as well, but I haven't worried about it so far because I always assumed that I had plenty of space in that thing. But apparently I did not. So, okay, this gentleman is all taken care of. There you go. Your six hard cardboard boxes are done. Let's get in here in a hurry before people decide that they want to do other things. So we're going to do the one for residential waste. We're going to give it a fancy sign. There we go. And we can do that. And then we will go to our, let's see, what was the other one that we had? Our bulk trash one. And let's give you a, oh, let's see. Let's actually head out of here first and let's see what we've got. So, oh, what did I do? I did something wrong. Um, let's go back in here. I, I got rid of my residential waste container. Oh, no. All right, let's put that in. Um, that's the skip medium for residential waste, and it's got the fancy sign. Okay. Let's just close that. And there you go. Now we got it. It's got a nice fancy sign to it. That looks better. Um, and we'll do the same thing with our bulk trash over there. Give it its own nice fancy sign. Because no better way to spend $300 than putting new signs on your receptacles. So, all right. Got three, four paper bags here. Which, these things do not fly if you throw them. They have all the wind resistance, basically. So, yeah, if you throw it, it doesn't even make it that far. So you're certainly not going to get it halfway across the parking lot when you throw it. So this paper bag is there. I think that's all four of them. And you are good. Thank you very much. All right, so now we're going to go in here once again. And we're going to try and get a sign. Now, this is going to be on our residential waste. So we're going to actually change the order of these. So we're going to put the bulk trash back there. And we're going to give that a fancy sign. There we go. So now if we look again, now they should be... Oh, and now... So it... Oh! So it apparently just... It, it moves everything up, I guess. Uh, it's important to learn these things. So we're going to actually take uh, bulk trash. And that's going to be that one. Okay. And then here, we're going to have the residential waste one, which is the skip medium, which is residential waste. And then we have the glass. Okay, now I think we're right. There we go. Bulk trash, residential waste, with big signs. So we can get a couple big signs over here for recyclables, timber, and waste paper. And then we'll look a little more snazzy. Okay, this guy has all the wood in his vehicle. And a rolled-up carpet. And again, I don't want to know what's in that rolled-up carpet. Um, cardboard box. That's a big cardboard box. It looks like that had a TV in it. Um, what do you got here? Another cardboard box. We'll put that right there. Um, we've got a, a room divider. It looks a lot like a door. Um, again, I don't want to know what to have with this carpet. I just don't want to know. Don't tell me. Um, oh, and I can't even pick that up anymore. So that's going to permanently stick out of the door. Because once it lands and dings, it's 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 gone. It's it's part of the scenery at that point in time. And that deck chair does have some wood on it, so we can throw that in there. 
And it does count. We're going to start that up. Oh, I'm going to throw that in. There we go. Get that going. Get you on your way. You've also sunk into the ground. All right, now we have $439, so we can get a fancy side. We will do that for a recyclables container. So let's come over here again and go to management and go to our recyclables container. This is still going to be there. We're going to give you a fancy sign. And I think now we're good. So I think that we can just hit that. And you are still there. And you still now, okay, look at that. Wow, look at us go. We are looking snooty here. All right, so now we need another $161. And then we can get another sign because we're going to blow all of our money on signs. It has been decreed it will be sign day in this episode of My Recycling Center. Okay, suitcase, you just go right there. Um, and a cardboard box, you're going to go all the way back there. Perfect. There we go. You have nothing else in your vehicle. And you are taken care of. So we're already up to 22 satisfaction. So, yeah, we'll have to look then at what other things that we can get. Um, so what are some other things that we can get? So if we look at management, we could do scrap metal. We could do household appliances. We could do electric devices. And I know that another thing that you can get is you can get a second hand shop, and then you can put an electric device testing center right onto your second hand shop. So those might be other things to look at as well. Because uh, I don't know exactly know where the secondhand store goes. I'm assuming it goes somewhere up here in the front. But I could not tell you for sure as I have not yet seen it myself. All right. Paper bags. We got four of them for you. And we'll get these thrown in. There's a two. And a three. And one more in the vehicle for you. And I think that was all you had in the vehicle. Let's take a look. Give it a quick scout. Make sure I didn't miss anything. I did not. Thank you very much. You were on your way. $229. So we need basically another $571. And we can have all the fancy signs. I don't think you can change the color of the signs. I think they just stay that white. I don't think that you can change the way that they look. Yeah. So you can, you can make the the dumpster itself a custom color but you cannot change the color of the sign so we're going to open this up and we will see who our next gentleman is or lady looks like they've got a clock in here uh, and a cabinet oh yes how are you doing today ma'am uh, oh why are you not coming out of there uh, you are stuck. There we go. We just got to pick you up again, and then you'll be unstuck. Cabinet goes in, and a table. Uh, the only thing that's bad about these tables is they're, just, they're such a weird shape, and that doesn't help um, when you're trying to get a bunch of stuff into the compactor at the same time. Long case clock, and you did not ding, so we're going to have to throw you in again. So uh, just try again. There we go, and we're going to get this started. So we're going to just get the compactor engaged. We do make a lot of money off those things, though, so that is nice. And you're on your way. So it looks like we get $5 per item that we handle properly, and then we get whatever we get just for the items itself when we put them in the bin. So next up, we got timber. So let's get a sign for our timber. Make it look a little more snazzy. So timber, this is going to stay as the timber one. We're going to get it this sign. We can also get some metal stairs to look up in there. Um, okay, and the timber is still there. So once again, another nice sign. All the nice signs. And we're going to open this up, or we're going to try and open that up. I'm glad I don't get smashed by my own gate. <laughs> it doesn't seem like that happens, so it seems like we're in good shape. All right, what do we have here? we got a plastic box. That's bulk trash. Throw that in there. And you've got a cardboard box. We'll run that all the way down. There we go. And that's all you've got on your way. So 31 satisfaction, $104. And, yeah, now we get a little bit of a break here. We can kind of take a look. And it all looks nice. It looks like it's kind of industrial out there in the distance. It's a real shame that you don't actually get out to get out to go and explore the world. We're confined by the invisible wall, and I, we can't get out. But we're on the opposite side of the gate, for what that's worth. But yeah, 
we unfortunately can go no further than that. And we just have to stay here within the concrete walls of our recycling center. But I guess that's good because, I mean, somebody's got to take care of the recycling, and that's why we're here. So paper bags. Got four of these. Throw these all in there. And again, I wish these things would fly, but they really don't. So <laughs> you got to be really, really close to the compactor in order to get those in. There we go. And I think you just had the four. You did. And there we go. So 35 satisfaction. We're more than halfway towards getting our final sign of fanciness, which we will put right there. And then after that, we might maybe even... Maybe we'll even get some stairs for our timber container here. Um, I don't know if we'd really need them, but, eh, I mean, it'll make it look nicer. So it'll give it realism <laughs> or something. Okay. Uh, let's get the gate open. Because I'm guessing that if people were throwing their own stuff in, they could just go up the stairs. Um, or it might actually make it easier to put things in. Who knows? Uh, recycles bag. We will take that. Oh, I missed. Um, oh, and now it got stuck. Uh, all right. Let's pick it up. Where's the... There we go. Oh, uh, why are you... You're bouncing. There we go. That took way too long. And that's just a cardboard box, which goes into waste paper. There we go. I almost threw that in recyclables. <laughs> so, I'm glad I did not. All right, $194. Working our way up to 300 and then eventually working our way up to another, I think now everything is, are these other things still 100? Yeah, scrap metal, household appliances, electric devices are all 100. And then you get into 125s for the other items. So you basically need another 800 to unlock all of the different trash types. So once you have 800 points, then you would have all the trash types unlocked is what it appears to be. And then I, I would imagine that down the road, the because this game is pretty new, I would imagine that down the road they would probably add more trash types possibly or more things that you can recycle. But right now they have eight. And I know that they put in a few patches in pretty rapid fashion here. So maybe they'll have more. Um, it would be good to see because I mean, this game is it's it's pretty zen. I mean, it's definitely a zen game of just taking people's trash, sorting it, putting it into different containers. Uh, beach chair. That looks like it's got some wood on it. We're going to try. Oh, my. That's big. Okay. Um, last day on the beach. I love these little <laughs> these little things that you get for these random things that you take care of. That door leaf went through the top of the truck. That's all right. So we're going to take this and kind of set it in on the side. We're going to try and set it in on the side. There we go. But we threw out the beach chair, so now we got to throw the beach chair back in. That's a big chair. <laughs> uh, this table, and unfortunately now everything in here is wood. So we're going to see how we can do. I heard a ding in the din of all the noise. Oh, man, why must you have all the wood items? Uh, I appreciate you bringing it, but that's on top of the sign. That did not ding. Let's see. Can we set you there? Yes, we can. Maybe that's why it's good to have the stairs. Uh, but we're going to have plenty of money. So we're going to just set this down for now. Because it looks like you got a couple other things. Yeah, i got a couple of cardboard boxes. We can get these thrown in here. I thought that dinged. Uh, let's see. And one more cardboard box. Yeah, those ding. So I'm going to start this up as well. Dueling compactors. There you go. You also go. And now we should be able to get this in, I hope. Uh, man, that, that chair really needs to be on here. Oh, man, it fell apart. I must have smashed it into a million bits. And let's see, this couch. How about this? There we go. It just barely fit. And I think you're on your way. There we go. Whew. That was a load and a half right there. I think now I'm actually going to get some stairs. <laughs> yeah, let's get some stairs for that one. So we're going to go to management. We're going to go to the timber one. Gonna go here, we're gonna get some metal stairs and put them there. And so if we look once again, look at our fancy metal stairs. There they are. And so now we can look in the compactor and that might help us to get things organized a little bit better. So that's kind of nice. Little bird's eye view of everything that we have in here. So 
Now all we need is one more sign. We need another $131 to get there. I think this compactor has stopped running. And that thing is, oh, that's still part of the chair. Uh, and another part of the chair. Uh, super clean we got as an, as an achievement. Not sure what that means, but we'll take it. And let's see, please don't have all kinds of wood in your vehicle. We would really appreciate it. That compactor is getting worked like crazy today. Uh, good, you don't. You got a lot of cardboard and stuff. We can handle that. Oh, nice, LED monitor. And you got all the recyclables. That's garbage, so we got to get some garbage money from you. Oh, yeah, those moved a different order. That's right. Um, those are flip-flop positions from where we started. Recyclables there. More recyclables. And what else do you have in here? Another plastic box. That's just going to go right in there. And then we've got a cardboard box, which can go right there. And a cabinet. We had to have something wood. So we're going to use our brand new stairs. There we go. How about that? That looks so good. Um, this is a table. I don't know if that's wood or not. Okay, okay, it was. I wasn't sure. It didn't look like it was wood necessarily. Um, it looked like it might have been particle board. <laughs> so whatever it was, it worked. And now we'll go here. Wow, you got everything in here. Garbage, so we'll get some keys from you. Uh, you may have already had a garbage bag, and I just now noticed the first one. That's just a bag. Bulk trash, that's what I thought, but I did a bag before, and it told me that it was supposed to go somewhere else. And a plastic box. Man, you had a garage sale or something, didn't you? All right. Oh, I missed out on the fees. Boo. I missed out on $12. That's my own fault. So, okay. Let's go in here, get our last fancy sign for our waste paper. So we're going to get our waste paper sign, put that right there. And click the checkbox. We now have fancy signs over all of our stuff. So now we can maybe get one more set of steps to put up here by this one. So this one doesn't feel jealous of this one. For one of them having steps and the other one not. So we will take this. Get this gentleman taken care of in his fancy little truck here. And throw this up there. And this will definitely help because we, we can't see into there to know how many cardboard boxes we have in there. Yeah, I do like these stairs. That does definitely help. Uh, another table because it also helps to try and throw things in in certain places. So now I can see why it's worth spending the $300, unlike the $500 I spent on that cart. But it looks good. You got to admit, it looks good. Okay, uh, sir. I'm, <laughs> sorry, I'm admiring my own cart. I know you got places to be. So let's get that taken care of. And get you on your way, or ma'am, I think I called you sir. My bad, I apologize. And we got $149, and already 64 satisfaction. So yeah, I think we'll get up to $300 and get ourselves a fancy set of stairs, and that feels like it'll probably be a pretty good day here at our recycling center. Let's get that compactor engaged. And again, we this, this cannot be moved because it is, like I said, is now part of the scenery. As soon as the thing dings, that thing is like fused in place and no amount of pushing or pulling or tearing will get it away from where it is. And so now we got a nice little truck here again. And what do you have? You have empty glass. Oh, this is the first person I had that finally had bottles. How about that? So uh, how does it go in is the question. Um, do we just have to like put it? Oh, we just have to put it in there. Okay, I get it. So, all right, maybe this would be better. Oh, this is going to be touchy. There we go. Did that actually go in? I hope it did. Um, yeah, this is a little bit intricate. Uh, let's see. This one might take a while. <laughs> there we go. I think I saw another one pop out. Uh, let's see. Did another one pop out on the side? No, it did not. Um, but it feels like they kind of fly everywhere. Uh, these are kind of definitely a little bit interesting. Um, I know that they're in here. They're just very hard to get a handle on. It's like you got one pixel to grab it. So there we go. Just got to set it right above the slot there. Ooh, I don't know what this guy was drinking, but whatever it was, it was a lot of it. So I think he's still got three more in here, unfortunately. And I don't know how the easiest places to grab them. 
because the hitbox for him is a little intricate. So there we go. Two more. Okay, maybe we should have gone with uh, <laughs> household appliances. And I can't seem to grab you. I know you're in there, but I cannot find a place anywhere that you actually appear. So we're going to have to send you on your way. Yeah, I couldn't grab those two, so I don't know what to do there. And one of them I apparently put in the wrong container. I'm not sure how, because I thought I put it in the glass container, and it must have maybe made its way into resi residential waste. Uh, I'm not sure. But we do have enough money. We've got $329. We'll get one more set of stairs. So we will go here to management and go to our waste paper one and get it some fancy stairs so that way it feels like it's part of the uh, part of the crowd just like everybody else. So there we go. Some nice fancy stairs for our waste paper container. And it's looking mighty good. Uh, we'll see who else we'll have that will come in here now that we're down to $29. What do you have for us, sir? And maybe one of these days I'll actually get the gate. I've never been inclined to get the gate because, again, I don't know how close you have to be standing to the gate to turn on the remote control gate. And, again, there's nowhere else we have to be in here. So we're, we're just basically here. Oh, my goodness, you've got everything. And I threw some stuff all around. So let's get all this taken care of. Got a table. And this will be a this will be a nice load. So we'll get a bunch of stuff here. A table there and a plastic bucket. I don't know why I always run like my hair is on fire. Because <laughs> it's there's not really any rush for this. I don't know. I, I mean I know that we're on the clock to get things done in a hurry, but I don't I've never actually lost had a penalty for not getting things done. And we only have one person that shows up at a time. It's not like we have a mounted animal. Um Let's rotate you just for the fun of it. Uh, you poor bear. Where do you go? You actually go into timber. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. That's where they told me you could go. Uh, Harry Matter. That's another cute, um, <laughs> another cute achievement there. A cardboard box. Uh, let's see. You got a few more things here. You also have a, what looks like a wine bottle. Hopefully yours won't go flying off in some random direction. There we go. Empty glass bottle. All right. We're just gently put it in there. Gently. There we go. And now we got our LCD TV box. It'd be nice if they actually had the TV in there with it, but um, apparently it's just cardboard boxes. So another one, and you've got still one more. Wow, all the TVs. I don't want to know what you were doing because I'm afraid that you might be like some, uh, I'm not going to say. All right, you're too old to be, <laughs> to be anything bad. Uh, but it's always the old guys that will do it. So, all right. There we go. 75 satisfaction, $254. let pop this compactor, let it get rolling, and get those boxes going. Looking pretty good in here. Yeah. We got to take a look here. We got fancy signs. We got some steps. Um, we're three-fourths of the way towards another round of... Uh, products that we can handle all in all i'd say we've had a pretty good day here other than trying to figure out exactly how we operate the uh the glass container that's been the only one that's been a bit challenging but aside from that yeah i think we're looking pretty good just got to give these things some paint touch them up make them look pretty snazzy and we'll be in pretty good shape uh sorry i'm sure uh, i do believe we are closed for the day so i'm going to have to probably look at you and tell you that we cannot handle your your service so i think i can hit delete and you do magically vaporize. So, <laughs> so that is going to be all for this one. I hope you had a fun time with it. I know I did. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really liked this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a... Hey! I'm talking over here. I'd appreciate it even more if you consider giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all for now. Until next time, thank you as always for being a part of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will... See you later.